Thanks, my man. Change is always hard to do, but for Brenham Junior High, some say change is long overdue. A proposed bond to replace the 60-year-old junior high building with a new facility will be on the ballot, and many are asking for people to vote in favor of it. KX's Sarah Wilson has more on how the bond affects the teachers and how, what they're able to do in the classroom. Cracks in the walls, creaks on the floor, and water leaking throughout the building. These are just some of the issues facing Brenham ISD at the junior high school. A bond committee composed of teachers, parents, community members, and more are proposing to replace the 60-year-old junior high building with a new facility. Built in 1964 as a bomb shelter, that proposal came last August and voters will be able to say what they think at the polls this year. Avid teacher Jenny Shear says the new facility is long overdue. It's built as a bomb shelter, so we have no windows. We have, it's difficult to move electrical and Wi-Fi throughout the building because of the way it's constructed. Some days the Wi-Fi connection is out, so teachers can't do a lesson plan. How the building is set up, it's not in compliance for those who are disabled, and students are left to move through classes in any weather condition. This is how students transition from classroom to classroom. But on days like this and little protection from an awning, this is how students have to transition and go to portables in classrooms like this. Issuance of the bond will cost $153 million by the Brenham Independent School District. It's just time, Shear says, along with Superintendent Dr. Tyler Chaplin. We have had a lot of upkeep and maintenance. We have a great maintenance department, and they try to do everything that they can, but at some point, the structural issues, they can no longer maintain. It has been adapted and, and as much as a building probably can with all of the different changes that have taken place over the last, you know, since 1960. While it may be bittersweet seeing it go, it will be the best environment for students and staff. We have some fantastic kids, but I'm still held back to let them not have as many opportunities as other districts are giving their students. It's just sad and it's stressful for a teacher. Voting day for the bond is on May 7th. Sarah Wilson, KAGS News. Voting started today and will go through April 29th, then again on May 2nd through the 3rd. Election day will be on May 7th at the Washington County Courthouse.